pelvic organ prolapse refers to a herniation of pelvic organs such as uterus, the womb, bladder and the rectum such, such as a bowel through the vaginal walls. It is a common condition which affects many women. One in five women will develop symptoms from the weakness of the pelvic floor and one in ten of those will require surgery. Pelvic floor organs are supported normally by muscles and ligaments referred to pelvic floor. When they are weakened or stretched, women will experience symptoms of prolapse. Prolapse may be mild and will involve a bulge through the vagina or sometimes the organs can completely protrude outside. Pelvic organ prolapse happens when there is a weakening of the pelvic floor muscles due to a number of potential problems. Most commonly, it's associated with labour and birth. Women who have had more babies or they had difficult deliveries are more likely to develop prolapse in the future life. Uh, they experienced instrumental deliveries such as forceps and von Tooth that also increases the chance of developing prolapse. Prolapse also happens in women who are older, so ageing does make a difference. Uh, being older, tissue tends to get weakened, a bit lack of oestrogen, and that it contributes to the prolapse factor. Some of the lifestyles, such as heavy lifting, having being overweight, or having a chronic cough can also increase the risk of prolapse. Some women have conditions which have increased their ge genetic predisposition to prolapse and that will also be a cause. Mild prolapse um, will not require any treatment and women may not even be aware of it. Some women who have symptoms will need some treatment and management will depend on, on the severity of their problem. There are simple measures women can Im improve the prolapse, such as lifestyle changes, losing weight, uh, avoiding heavy lifting, um, avoiding constipation will clearly improve the symptoms. Pelvic floor exercises will have great benefit to improve the pelvic floor muscles and um, some women will uh, need a combination of the treatment before they embark on any, on any surgery. Traditionally, the, the prolapse was treated by vaginal uh, surgery utilising um, surgical techniques using sutures, vaginal hysterectomy and anterior and posterior pair are the main uh, treatment options. Uh, they have a success rate of treating prolapse at 80 to 90 percent, but long term we realised that the prolapse recurrence is a problem. To reduce the risk of recurrence and to retain the anatomical function of the vagina, a number of new procedures were introduced, which were mainly used utilising a mesh repair. Meshes have been traditionally used in abdominal surgery for hernia repair for a long time. Introduction in the vagina is recent. Uh, it allows us to interlay the mesh material between the vaginal wall to strengthen the pelvic floor, thus we retain the anatomical um, situation in the vagina. However, meshes have, in the vagina have been associated with more complications, which became apparent very recently. Although many women will benefit from it, there are complications such as mesh erosion rates and infections and pain, which have been quite a, um, a problem for a number of women. Meshes therefore have been withdrawn from the treatment and are not recommended unless they are um, for specific women with high risk of recurrence or they are done by specialists who are trained to do that. Our education of the women when they are choosing the prolapse repair is an important part of the counselling as they need to understand potential risks and benefits of having a mesh repair. The apical prolapse, which is the vault prolapsing again and recurrence risks, have also been a problem. To improve the um, prolapse repair and reduce the risk of a recurrent, there are a number of other procedures used, such as keyhole surgery and laparoscopic approach, which can successfully treat and prevent pelvic vault prolapse. 
Uh, these techniques are clearly advances in the uh, pelvic floor surgery, which introduce laparoscopic approach to the pelvic floor. So often these are done again in specialist centres by trained individuals and many women may need to be referred to specialists who has got that expertise.